Before we start working and go too deep into our matte painting, let's use this video to talk about what the overall project structure and workflow is. Feature films and TV shows today demand a very high quality of work. The artist is required to work fast and yet achieve a great looking output. Sometimes a shot comes in with just a short description and we are required to work on everything from concept to the final. So we are going to work on a project similar to what one may encounter in a real production environment. The shot is going to be a complete digital matte painting shot, a sort of an establisher for the storyline. One of the primary goals is to achieve a good balance between speed and efficiency with art and technique. A matte painting is a seamless blend between painting and photo manipulation and strong foundation skills are always helpful. We start by getting data from the client. The client may provide us a plate, which may be a single image or a footage, story description, and an initial concept to go with it. All of this influences the design phase. Go over to Adobe Photoshop, which would be our primary software for this video lessons, where we analyze the plate, check our elements, generate thumbnails. Once the thumbnail is approved, we begin our matte painting. We go into Maya, do our 3D modeling, texturing and shading, lighting and rendering. We generate different passes, which can be then rendered and taken back into Photoshop, used to integrate into our existing matte painting, make everything look as one. Finally, while giving it to an output, make sure that we have good and efficient layer management. Our entire matte painting needs to be perfectly organized for someone else to later on use down the pipeline. Now, since we have talked about our workflow, let's head over into the next video and look at all the data what the client has provided.